Hello everyone. Okay, so we're moving on to 4.2, but before we do that, I realized that in the previous question, 4.1, we didn't fully answer the question. For 4.1.5, we calculated the answer over here. This is 9.76 kilometers, but it said here to the nearest kilometer. Okay, so we actually need to make this to the nearest kilometer, 9.76, right? So the distance from A to B is actually 10 kilometers, right? Because we have to round it off to the nearest kilometer. Okay, this just indicates again how important it is to read the question properly. Okay, so that's just a little point there. Otherwise, let's move on to 4.2. Okay. Okay, 4.2 is this floor plan of a chalet, right? Close to the Mountain Zebra National Park. Okay, we have two bedrooms, a kitchen, a dining room, a living room, and a bathroom. Okay, so it's a two-bedroom house, okay, or chalet. So they've also shown us that these are windows, wonderful, and they've shown us doors, okay, and a cupboard. Okay, so it says here, use the floor plan above to answer the questions that follow. So it says, state the number of doors on the floor plan, which with right-hand side openings now that just means right that this here where they connect to the actual wall is right hand so that's a left hand one right let's turn this around you can see this one is a right hand one okay then let's do this one over here it's a left hand one this one over here is a left hand one this one over here is a right hand one. Do you see that? So based on what we've done here, there is one, two. There are two right, let me just move that so you can see what I'm writing. Two right hand side opening doors. Okay, so that is that. Okay. Now, it says write down the names of the rooms that will face the afternoon sun. Now, what is testing is that we know where the sun rises and where the sun sets, okay? And we see that this is north, right? So, what's important, right, is we draw a little compass like I did in the previous question. We have north facing up, south down there. Remember, clockwise, never eat silk worms. So, we know the sun rises in the east right? And it sets in the west. So the afternoon means that by the time it's the afternoon, right? The sun has already come past center point. The center point is where it's sort of at noon, 12 o'clock in the um, afternoon. And then west, we start going westward when it gets into the afternoon. So it's this side of the house, west side of the house that we'll be looking at to see which rooms get the afternoon sun okay so it will be there's a window one window bedroom one will be bathroom and bedroom two so it'll be everything on the west hand side of the chalet okay because the sun rises in the east and sets in the west okay so also just remember to label properly i keep forgetting to do that so it would be bedroom one Bedroom one and two and bathroom. Okay, these questions are not difficult questions, right? They're not actually asking us to calculate anything. They are just showing that we understand how to read a map, okay? So that's quite important. A lot of it is understanding sort of basic things like where does the sun rise and what is left and um, right hand openings, what does that mean? So that's, that's fairly okay, right? Now, let's go to... 4.2.3. So 4.2.3 says, determine the probability of walking into a bedroom in the chalet with two separate beds in one bedroom. Okay. Now, when we go into this bedroom, there's only one. When we go into this bedroom, there's only one bed. So there's actually, if you walk into any bedroom, that will never happen, right? So if something never will happen, the probability is 0%. 0% means that it's, it's not going to happen. It's impossible, right? And then that 
is the final answer for that question. So that question was quite quick, but it, there was actually very little maths. Majority of it was actually just understanding how to read this map. Okay, so that is all for that question.